the keyblade seals the keyhole to stop our heartless attack. So we can save the world and then get on with things. Hopefully in Kingdom Hearts 3 we won't be swimming with glee because I will be so happy if we don't have to do this again. Because what levels are boring? Hi guys, welcome back. Scanning here, and we're off for more of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we entered the water level of this game, Atlantica. And well, we're a bit hindered on our attacks. We can't use any of our combo modifiers or special attacks. We can't use um, air combo pluses, it would just be combo pluses. And well, we have Ariel and Triton, and he's not happy that we're looking for the keyhole because Goofy spilt the beans. That's not good. And, well, I had to come back here for a save point. We're supposed to be outside right now. But there's something that I forgot to do when two episodes ago. I forgot to check the bloody journal. So let's get rid of some of the new stuff here. I mean, we've got 100 Acre Halloween Town. 100 Acre Wood didn't get updated, which is a bit odd. We do have Answer Report 7, but we're not going to check that for now, so that's going to stay new. Do need to check our Heartless, though, because we've got a lot of new Heartless. We've got Sea Neon, which are the jellyfish enemies we've been fighting so far. We defeated 56 already. That is a lot. We've also got a screw diver, as I've already mentioned. We've only just fought those things. Let's see. Pink ag agitate. Right. Ag pink agaris. Agaricus? Agarisus? I don't know how to pronounce that. But that's the thing that we were fighting before. That's kind of a problem. But we didn't get anything for it. And uh, yeah, that's actually that's actually it. And for characters, we have. All the new ones from this level so far, we got Ariel, King Triton, Sebastian, Flounder, Oogie Boogie of course, because we didn't because he's been updated, and Eeyore, because we had to help him out in 100 Acre Wood before. And with that, oh wait, hang on, mini games. Yes, Pooh's Swing, 35, 25, you can get higher than that. I think I've got up to a 77 before or something. And that's by incorrectly timing it, so he just flies off in the distance. Alright, so now that we've checked the journal, we can now leave. Sorry about that cut there, I had to check some things. Not in the game. So, what we want to be doing right now is... I don't think it's actually explained on where we have to go. So I feel like that once we try to leave the palace completely so we can go off in the different directions... I think Arrow should point us in the right direction. Come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? Yep, we've already been there, and dolphins are now out! That, the thing is though, you cannot mount the dolphins while enemies are around, and we've got bigger Heartless now, they're starting to up their game. You have to crit kill this thing, because otherwise he'll split in a free... Well, I must have done it there, because if you don't kill those things correctly, they'll just split in a free C Neons. I think it's called a uh, large Neon or something. I forget what it's called, or uh, Neon Bulb? I forget. We might be able to actually check that out in the journal in just a moment. Either that or they're just a C Neon, but they become three normal sized ones after the fact. So let's have a quick look here. Yep, yeah, it is new. It is definitely new. Ah, Sheltering Zone. Nowhere near. But yes, yeah, they're pretty much the big versions. Even if you don't make them poof and they do split into three C Neons, it will still count as being defeated, so... Yeah. Now, as I said, with these dolphins here, in fact, I'm going to wait for them to come back over here. And you know what? I'll leave that for later, actually, because we're going to be waiting for quite a while otherwise. So we've already been in here to grab the chests. But that's because that we can focus more on the story. Look at all the wonderful things Fandor and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, Oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. Hmm. So yeah, all this from the outside world. I wonder what Triton would have to say about you know the the sea surrounding the Destiny Islands. If he's the king of all of, if he's the king of all the seven seas, 
then that don't really make much sense considering that there were way more C's in this particular game. And that cuts him when we hit a wall. Here's a thing with Flotsam and Jetsam that I never actually realised when I was young. They both have yellow eyes, but one's on one side, one's on the other. That's actually how Ursula sees through them. Very clever. Never knew that. Right, hopefully I can interact with you now, because once there are no... Ah, oh, it said grab on. There we go. We can ride them around. It's fast travel, if you can really call it that. He can also fight against currents, but he's kind of useless here, so we'll dismount here. And that was a bad place to do it, but hey, I'm close to where I need to be. So we just basically need to go exploring. There's not really much else to it than that. But the dolphins are out. So that gives us something new to do. And that should open up new ways. So let's go back to the undersea cave here. And start heading back on ourselves. Oh really? They're back again already? You see what I mean? We vote this is the second time we've been in this room, and both times it's been these heart it's been these frozen white mushrooms for the pink agitaris or whatever it's called. It appears far too often, and it, it this is like the worst level to do it in, so I'm not going to bother. They can go screw themselves. If I could actually get arts from them, I wouldn't be so mad, but I can't. That's the problem here. So, the thing is, though, in Final Mix, they are always appear frozen like that, but in the original, they were just normal white mushrooms where you could actually get arts from them. Instead of the Pink Agateris, which is a Final Mix exclusive. So, it was actually better in the original than it is in the Final Mix. I mean, I don't mind the deep jungle frozen uh, white mushrooms in order to get the Pink Agateris to spawn. That's fine, because that's in an open area. They're all scattered about, and you have to, like, you know, find them in order to make the thing appear in the in the uh, treehouse. Which is why I never talked about it until now, because we couldn't really do anything about it. But, you get what I mean. It's, like, kind of a squandered opportunity. But yeah, the dolphins left this sector, sector, so we need to leave. Right, let's see if we can find this dolphin. Problem is, we need to keep killing the enemies, because they stop us from exploring, because we need to be able to interact with a bloody dolphin in order to ride it, so we're forced to fight. Again, it's kind of like um, Halloween Town, but this world is not nearly as small. I mean, it's, it's big in scope, don't get me wrong, but... It's a lot easier to explore Halloween Town because it's small and concise. Even though it's backtracking heavy. Where's the bloody dolphin? Mark, well, just spawn more enemies. Oh, they're above me. Right, am I going to see the other... No, I'm not going to see the other way that enemy dies. But they do drop frost gems if you kill them without them splitting apart. It depends on how you kill them. A bit, I believe it's a, like... If it's not a... a a critical, then they'll split in a three. There, there's her spiral attack. I haven't actually drawn attention to that yet. I got a thunder gem for that. That's not bad. Where's the dolphin gone? This is this is actually annoying me. Cause I need the dolphin. I actually need the dolphin, and he ain't showing up. Where's this dolphin gone? I swear, we had a dolphin out here. I'm not going crazy. He was swimming about, and now he's gone. Stu killed him, normally. Oh, there we are. Didn't kill him properly. So he's split in a four, actually. I thought he split in a three. My mistake. Maybe it's because I normally kill one as soon as they split, so I never notice. Understandable. It's just it's annoying to hit them. I killed enough enemies now. Because sometimes you have to kill all enemies in the area for him to bloody spawn. That's just dumb. Because if enemies like get in the way of the sp of where he goes, 
He won't go through it if you haven't taken out the enemies. Alright, here we go. I would cut these out, but they're kind of required to do in order to get the bloody thing to spawn. Oh, I didn't kill him in time. If so. Oh, there he is! There he is, you douche! Where did you come from? Where did you go? Come back! You're mine! Guys, come back. If we can get into if we can get near him when he's not near enemies, we can just immediately hitch a ride. A mashing triangle. A mashing triangle. Come on. Come on, let me mount. Thank you. I wasn't putting up with fighting any more enemies in order to get on. Alright, here we go. Right into the calm depths. Which is clearly not the case. But don't press a button. Don't dismount. Hey, we're brought into an area we couldn't get to before. Hey, there we go. Sunken ship. Another set piece from the movie. Which you only see near the beginning, really. In fact, that's a fun fact, actually. The events that happen in this level... I keep saying level. It's a world. The, the events that happen in this world don't actually correlate to the movie at all. As far as I'm aware, anyway. It's literally the beginning before, you know, Prince Eric's sailing over. And even then, that's not the case. I guess this takes place during the TV series. That would make the most sense. But the Triton... Well, the, the thing with Ursula and the Triton is still a thing from the movie. So, yeah, it's kind of original in that case. So we've got some chests around here. And I'd recommend getting the chests before anything else. Because... We're gonna kind of need it. There's also something behind here. Huh? Uh, what is that thing? If only I could reach it. Well, we do have a long keyblade that we could probably whack, but as you saw there, so I actually tried to do a stab, a thrust, and couldn't reach it. It's not a keyhole by any means, so we can't activate it with the keyblade, but if we could have at least whacked it, pushed it in, it might have done something. But we can't do that, so let's just grab all this sunken treasure around here. Another elixir. In fact, I haven't checked to see if there's any uh, Dalmatians here. I don't think there is, because that would be a bit odd having them underwater. Doesn't say they're listed here. In fact, Halloween Town didn't have any listed, but I'm pretty sure they only have one chest, and it's not listed until you grabbed it, and even then it'll say zero. Because I'm pretty sure it's on that ledge that we couldn't reach. So we got that chest, we got that chest. Is that all there was? I mean, we came through here. There's that switch. There's some rubble. Yeah, I think that's it. So, let's swim up here. And I did not actually try to enter. The game just forced me in there, thanks. I wanted to go a bit higher than that. That's not good. And the music's gone silent. Ooh, ominous. We can't target these for some reason. So we just got to hope to God we can hit it. We get neither for that. So, it's worth smacking them. Oh, hit the thing. There we go. Another Aoife. Let's tap that. Get Mithril. There's a chest over there. We'll go grab that in a moment. Two more back walls to whack. If I can whack them. There we are. Go down below here. Clam. Mithril. Nothing else. Very small ship for what it is. Oh, camera perspective change. Oh, jeez. And he can't get in. Yeah, now what a face he has as well. Kind of creepy, that. And yeah, he is actually from the movie, and he only appears at the beginning. And Hmm. Its shape reminds me of something. Crystal Trident. Yeah, maybe it reminds you of the, the your dad's trident. That might be a thing. Let's have a look at that. Is that another, another summon item or something? A crystal shaped like a royal trident. Hmm. Well, we're in a bit of a sticky pickle. We gotta leave. Oh, there's a barrel in there that I didn't whack. I just saw. Can I go back in quickly? Thank you. Oh, there are enemies in here now. Interesting. I don't think I'm supposed to come back in here this early. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, what I wanted to do was whack this barrel, because I never saw this barrel here before. Oh, we keep rising every time I whack it. Can I just fire? Nope. I have to whack it. 
Come on. There we are. It didn't drop anything for me. I was hoping it would have dropped something. I thought I missed something. Like an elixir or an Eva or something. Would have been worth. Yeah, as soon as we fly, try to swim out of here, this dude is just swimming about. Let's go kill him. Come on, guys. Get him. And we stunned him already. <laughs> or made him real, at least. And he's almost dead and he hasn't even done any damage to me. I just keep teching his attacks. Problem is, counter-attack does not work underwater either. Even though that ain't a combo modifier, it pretty much adds to your combo mid-combo when you parry. And we've knocked him out already! We can't actually kill him, he'll just appear here at random times. And he gives us 100 experience per time. And he- oh, whoa! An ether and a high potion! Thanks, buddy! I appreciate. Nothing on top, which is what I wanted to check originally. And, uh, yeah, we are done here, so we can just leave. Now, where's this go? Calm Depths. Wasn't there an entryway below that we could have taken that I didn't see? Probably not. Probably imagined it. Yep, I imagined it. It's just this way. Well, at least we got something. Got a Crystal Triton to use. So, we gotta head back, and the most annoying thing about this is that we gotta make sure we actually go in the right direction in order to do so. So we gotta hug our sides, there we are. Enemies in here have now changed as well. They keep on changing to, you know, not make it as repetitive. The problem is that you can't really heal, not heal, you can't really attack that well. Blizzard doesn't really do a lot of damage to them because, admittedly, they are underwater. But, you know, my thunder attacks don't really do that much, and that could actually possibly heal them, so why would I risk it? Are they still here? They're still here! This is the third time I've come through here! And by the way, when you leave the room and come back in, they don't stay there. They, it'll be a different spawn, so I guess it's just permanently- they're just permanently there. It's guaranteed. Problem is, it's not good enough. Because I can't do everything necessary to build up the hits. And I would say leave it to near the end of the game as well in order to build up the hits anyway, because then you'll be the most decked out, you'll have all of your combo pluses, you'll have all of your abilities, all your combo modifiers, the best spells. It'll be a good time. Nothing can whack you, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to move onwards. And you spawned all these guys in. No, I don't want to target that one. I went, you know what, fine. You can just do your own thing. I don't need to waste time attacking these guys. I can just head right on in. I don't need no reaction commands. And Donald keep us watch. That looked funny. Hello, you're just hanging out here. There's a shape here that looks just like that crystal you have. Ah, maybe we can pop it in here. That'd be nice. There we gizzle. How convenient that it was here this whole time. So what does it do? Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! Okay, that's just rude. How could you? Even Sora couldn't believe it. You just see his face. Look at his face! Young man. You're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? Good question. You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that. But you have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. But we save worlds with this. We're sealing it from the heartless. How do we break peace and bring ruin? We're trying to stop worlds being ruined. And how do you know about the Keyblade? Are you a key bearer of some sort? How do you have this knowledge? 
My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait. Maybe she can be of some help. Yes. Maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. First, you can help. You called, my dear? You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. <gasps> now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. <laughs> huh? Now listen. Carefully. She's so gullible. And can you really call it meddling if Sora and Goofy are just doing their job, they just happen to bump into some residents of the world being chased by the very thing that we're trying to stop? And not only that, but, you know, residents of the very world have knowledge of things from other worlds anyway. Can you really call it meddling if you're being told that they already know? For one thing, how does Trident know about the key bearer? How does he know? That means that before we even were here, we would have been meddling before even doing anything because you already had knowledge that you're not supposed to have. So thanks for just making Sora feel bad when you already have the knowledge that we didn't even know to begin with. Yes, we know that we're not supposed to meddle, but if you have outside information... Uh, don't make sense. Now, here's the funny thing. Sora and Goofy don't know what to do, but us, the players, have to go search for that place where Ariel and Ursula were. And, therefore, as the player, you would explore. But Sora and Goofy have no idea where to go. They've got no idea. So, you, as an outside source, are the only one who knows where to go. you just got to find it. Thankfully, we've already been there before, and the only thing that was there was a Mega Potion. But now we actually do need to go there to progress the plot. And it's only a short swim away, so... Other than that, not big of an issue, but at the same time, there was no need for him to blast that item. I mean, what was so significant about that crystal trident? I mean, if that was a summon gem that wasn't actually part of this world, because that was clearly built into her grotto. That's the slot, anyway. If it was a summon gem, he outright just killed someone from another world. Wouldn't that be meddling in the affairs of that world once we restore it? Yeah, I think Trine's a bit of a hypocrite, to be honest. Just because you're king doesn't mean you make up the rules. We're doing the best we can. It's not our fault that the barriers between worlds have been destroyed by the Heartless, so we can just go from world to world like it's no business. But it's not like we're trying to meddle. It's accidental. It happens. Oh dear. They're not here. Maybe we need to go talk to Trident again. Maybe we can reason. I mean, after that conversation with Triton, maybe Sword on the Goofy want to... You know, patch things up, rectify, explain why they're having such issues on accidentally meddling when they shouldn't. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Okay, why did Tr Triton just leave the Trident just floating behind his throne, unguarded? That's like the most stupidest thing you could possibly do. You already are aware that the Heartless can swim through your front door, and you zapped them in one hit with the Trident, and you destroyed that crystal Trident with the Trident, and you always swim around with it. You always have it on you. Why now, how conveniently, it's just lying there in the palace with no guards to guard it, just waiting for Ariel and Ursula to swag it up. By the way, if you haven't already noticed, because Ariel's disappeared, Goofy's been forced back into the party. Didn't mention that, but yeah. So now we're on the case. Again, as the player, we, we know what to do, but Sword and Goofy don't, so... 
Yeah. But these enemies bugger off. They appear too bloody often. I want to kill these guys though, because if you do actually knock them out, they drop a ton of money. Well, not a ton of money, but big enough orbs. I mean, we're already back up to 700. We spent 500 already on that one blaster. That one cannon. For our ship to do the mini game, the, the, the missions in the last episode. Oh, God. There we are. That'll do. No, oh, high potion drop. Not bad. Right, let's just move onwards. <laughs> the trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Well, it sucks Why, for you then, don't it? We have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> I love how worse I talk. It's so funny, so casual, so sassy. Daddy! The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait. I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. Oh, now she's actually actively searching for danger, and now the dad and the guard is fine with it. Funny that, considering that when she's not looking out for danger, she gets told off. But when she actually does go look out for danger, she's perfectly fine. How convenient. If the situation calls for it, well, let's swap in... Uh, Goofy, uh, swap out Goofy again because Ariel needs vengeance. But then again, she was pretty dumb. If if those, like, as I said, if if t people were talking like that to me, saying that oh you can have all your hoops and dreams, uh, stranger danger, decline and swim away. Clearly, Ariel's not right in the head. Ursula draws power. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. If you forget this tip, talk to him, because it could take you a while to get to where Ursula is, and if you are not aware, once you get to the boss fight with Ursula, you're going to be screwed, and it can easily kill you if you're not prepared. So you want to be stocked up on ethers, and if you, she'll keep reviving Flotsam and Jetsam, but you can keep on striking them to build up your charge, which will also give you magic, so you're not totally screwed. But it does help to be prepared. But I think I'm going to end it off here because we're at the same point right now and we've got to go all the way to Ursula. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going to take out Ursula and not only fix up Ariel's mistake, but also allow her to get vengeance. Even though, you know, vengeance is never the answer. It's more like redemption. She feels sorry and she feels like it's her problem to fix. So with that, see you guys next time. Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world. Aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but...